Continuing coverage of the homicide in Uptown Martinsville. I'm Charles Rourke reporting here for Star News, and here's the latest that we've been able to get uh, from the authorities on the situation. And we'll tell you that uh, at 12.04 on Saturday morning, the Martinsville police responded to the area of 54 West Church Street, right there in front of Ruski's Restaurant. They found Clayton Kent Jr., age 37, of Martinsville with a gunshot wound. After talking to the chief, he said that the gunshot, they believe, entered to the chest, went out the back. He was transported to Soba Health in Martinsville, but he died en route to the hospital. Now charged on the screen, you can see, and Tequan Antonio Davis was located and taken into custody. They located him at Beaver Street. That's his house, uh, his residence. Uh, he's been charged with manslaughter, reckless handling of a farm, and discharging a firearm in public. He's currently being held in the Martinsville City Jail without bond. We've just gotten back from a press conference held by the police chief in Uptown Martinsville. Let's take a look. But we know that that restaurant has a lot of incidents where it doesn't lead to these kind of things, but that it could. So I have not been in communication with the with the restaurant owner, however, and that's because of at the current stage of, of the investigation. You don't get your money. I do not want to interfere with anything. For, for instance, when something like this occurs at any uh, place in Virginia that serves alcohol, uh, the Alcohol Beverage Commission comes in and, and is required to do an investigation. So they're currently doing their investigation as we speak in, into those sorts of matters. Um, and also, I've been in touch with the vice mayor this morning, uh, speaking about the incident, and he conveyed to me the rest of co uh, councils um, th their concern, and uh, you know they're they're all equally upset that something like this has happened, and that we've had a loss of life uh, that needlessly you know occurred, and so they are also going to be examining ways in which to try to ensure stuff like this doesn't occur in the future. Chief. We did a story this morning. I mean, the most dangerous places in Henry County seems to be these local bars, from El Martino to you know, to, you know the county, and then this one. Do you, you agree with that? Well, it's any time that you have the presence of uh, something like alcohol that that causes people's inhibitions to, to go away, that they're more apt to do something they wouldn't normally do if they were not uh, under the influence of alcohol. Right. So, when and it tends to cause crowds to gather, and that also has a factor in causing these sorts of things. Right. So, what can you do as a police chief to Maybe more security, more what? Well, like I said, this is something we're going to be examining with council and trying to work with the business to try to make certain that this sort of thing doesn't occur again. If not, then there may be some some ramifications that, that, that they have to face. Do you think it's happened too much? It, once is too many. Once is too many. Do you know uh, yet in the investigation if either the suspect or the victim were intoxicated at the time? Uh, I, I can't say as to their alcohol levels. That, that's something we will find out once uh, everything's uh, all the evidence is, is finished being anal analyzed. Um, I have a question. You said earlier, like um, it's been about a year or something since gun violence. Was that is that like in this case, or was that like a little while ago? Or I was speaking as, as Martinsville is a community that uh, outside of domestic situations, uh, it's it's been a little while since we've had um, gun violence. Now we have had some within the last six months, but it didn't result. In, in a death. Um, so it, it's been a while since we've had a homicide. Um, oh, I, I kind of had a little of an off topic one, but yeah. I know we had, there was an armed and dangerous Martinsville man wanted for uh, felony kidnapping in North Carolina. Do you have anything to say about that and being from Martinsville? Or? Well, we're, um, we're currently working with the U.S. Marshals uh, in, in attempts to locate him and in, in assisting. Um, this neighboring jurisdiction. Um, it's an incident that occurred outside of our jurisdiction, so I really can't comment on it, but we are working with them to attempt to bring this person to this. Will Ruskies be open regular business plan? I, I cannot say. Um, I mean, I know from time to time, you know, you guys have wanted to talk with the the, the bars and so forth about, uh, you know, and of course, one time y'all were going to shut one down. Right. Well, what, what I mentioned earlier is that the ABC is currently doing an investigation right, right now into the so it's really up to them. Thanks, sir. Okay, so it looks like this case, it looks like this case is in the hands of the Virginia ABC board on how they handle this situation. But once again, on the screen, you can see 
uh, Traquan Antonio Davis, age 23. He's been charged with manslaughter, wrestling, uh, res- reckless handling of a firearm, and discharge charging of a firearm in a public place. I'm Charles Rourke is with continuing coverage on the homicide in Uptown Martinsville. We plan to talk to the chief again on Monday. Stay tuned.